Imagine Games here. I'm going to show you kind of uh, how our workflow is working in Unreal Engine. So we have here our editor where we place things in the world. We can sculpt the world, you know, um, show you real quickly. Do something like this. You know, you make a mountain. I'm, I'm making it seem very easily, very easy. I already um, have the right layers for the ground and foliage. You could just use a brush like this and just paint away. Um, it's fairly simple once you get into it. Even the river here, this is a tool I'm using to um, spline base so I can, you know, simulate the river, all of that. These are just animations, but the elephants here, I remade their logic now so that if you look here, they can either be a team leader and they can also be a baby elephant. So if I check team leader, if we go into his the elephant's brain here he's gonna check if he's a team leader he's gonna set the locations where everyone should go and if he's not he's gonna follow the team leader so that's just the starting logic and then here if he detects a player through his eyesight he will go to that player if the player gets away he'll stop he'll try to prevent the player from getting away um, he'll also check if the player is underneath and if the player got away for some time, he's running away, I kind of make it easier for the player to get away. Just, you know, he'll forget about the player. And he will then go back to his start location. And he will start grazing around. Now, if he doesn't detect an enemy, um, he doesn't detect a player, he'll just start grazing. You know, he'll do his thing <laughs> in a way. So that is how that guy works. Um, if we look into the third person character, this is the logic for the attack. I'm not going to go through that, it's way complicated, but this is what his script looks like. It's um, There's a lot going on here. Um, each of one of these things here, they're, they're collapsed right now, but they're all like something like this looks like something like this and this is for the character and this is a network game so the logic is even longer than if it was just a uh, you know the normal logic for a <laughs> for a normal game because the online games aren't normal um anyways that is pretty much it that's this guy here or or gal because you can be a guy or a girl and whatever you have your player creator, but you would know that if you watched our other videos, that you can create your own character in this game. And I'm gonna finally stop talking a little bit. Well, I'll keep talking and I'll show you what we have done so far already. So we have the spear. In case you missed it on our last video, we were running away from the elephant, we couldn't kill him. But now we can kill him and to do so we need to equip the spear now the elephant logic might still be a little bugged out it needs more testing and you just walk into the water and he sinks he gets back up he's detected me his feet aren't moving that's fantastic now that is due to the fact that here uh, I might be using something wrong here. What's why is he not moving? Set everyone got here. So here we have a bug, and Unreal Engine is showing me where the bug is. He's not finding this value. Access none, trying to read property. That's because he can't find the leader brain. So is valid. Let's fix that right here. Is valid. So, why can't he find the leader brain? Hmm, that's interesting. Let's find out. We set the leader brain in the beginning here. Um, team leader. 
Actually, we set that here. I have to. I set it up in his construction script so that if he's a team leader, I just check this box. So this guy is the team leader. And therefore. Hmm. Well, we will pause this video and I will get back with the fix for that.